boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to make a, another flip book. This is all about plant needs, so this is what it's going to look like in the end. So what you're going to need to get out of your material packet is a sheet that looks like this. It says, what do plants need? And then you're going to need the green paper. And then from around your house, you're going to maybe need some other scraps of papers. And if you have any cotton balls, a cotton ball would be good. You're going to need a pencil maybe. You might need a black marker, some markers or crayons for drawing or coloring, a scissors for cutting, and a glue stick or say glue bottle for some gluing. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna find your what do plants need page and you need to cut that out. You're gonna cut on the dark line all the way around it. So you are gonna make one scrap that can end up in your recycle bin at home. You're just going to cut around it, and it's going to make four pieces in the end. Try to stay on the lines because it'll help you later on. And then you're going to cut these apart on the lines in between. So you're going to have four parts. This one says, What do? plants and then need and that's the order you're going to keep them in when you're gluing them down so you got to remember that all right then you're going to take your green paper and you're going to fold it the hot dog way again so corner to corner match them up make a nice crease so that it kind of opens like that except we're going to have it open this way this time all right then we're going to do some gluing you're going to need your glue stick and you're going to glue these down, but you know what? I think I might make a plan first. I want to glue these down on here, and I want to make sure they all fit. And I have them all spaced kind of out here. So there's a little green in between each of them. There, I'm happy with my plan. So now I can go ahead and glue. Put a little glue on the back of each one of them. Got to make sure I put them in order, too. What? I have the word do. Plants and then need. And then it's going to come the tricky part the cutting. So you get those little flaps. So you have them all glued down. I'm going to put the cover back on my glue so it doesn't dry out. And then I'm going to open my page back up. And that middle curve line or that middle fold line is going to be where I stop. So I'm going to be very carefully cut in between just one straight line. If you think you need to, you can always draw a line there. And I'm going to stop when I get to the fold. If you think it would help you, notice I'm not making any scraps. If you think it would help you, you can draw a line there and then just cut on the line. Or maybe mom or dad or an older brother or sister could draw that line for you. Now I have my four flaps. Now I have to think about what do plants need? And I'm gonna write what they need in my marker, but you could use a pencil if you really want to. So I'm thinking, and I believe plants need air. So at the top of the flap, I'm gonna write the word air. A-I-R. Plants also need water. So I'm going to open the next flap. I'm going to write water. W-A-T-E-R. And under the third flap, uh, some sunlight. The sun. So I'm going to write sun. And of course, they're going to need some soil. Some dirt to grow in. And hopefully they have some clean dirt with a lot of space around it so they can stretch out. Now the next part is where you kind of get to be creative. So I'm not going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you it on my example. And then you can be as creative as you want at your home. So underneath my example one, under our air, we took some cotton balls and glued them down. Under the next one where we had water, I took some blue paper and I cut out some raindrops and I glued them down. Under sun, I took a yellow piece of paper and I drew a sun on it with my pencil, and then I cut it out. And then in soil, I took some brown paper, and I just kind of tore it up. 
and I glued it down to look kind of like dirt or soil. So you can be creative. You could use a white sheet of paper and you could draw on it or you could use a cotton ball like I did or you could draw on the blue or you could even just draw on the green paper if you really want to. So hopefully your flip book about what plants need turns out fantastic just like mine.